The worst one was in New Orleans because they had the flood. And I was going down the street just like this, and they had a lot of construction on the, on the, on the road. And I get down all the way to the end of the sidewalk, and there's a barrier that the rest of the sidewalk is closed. In order, and it was, a, of course, New Orleans has a high curve because of the flooding. And I couldn't get off the curb like I can on, on, on these, these little curbs. And so I'm stuck, and my wife can't help me get down because uh, we're in our 70s. And I had to wait until a, uh, a gentleman and his son came along, and they helped me down off the curb. And that's what happens when suddenly you don't have the access that you should. You have no idea where you are or what's going to happen to you. And that's, uh, it's, it's very scary. How much do you see in Las Vegas of curbs that don't have handicaps packed up? You know, one of the things when I moved to Las Vegas in 1999, I was impressed with the handicap services. I live in an HOA you know, on the other side of town, senior citizen, and it is really, really good on the handicap. There's some areas, but all in all, the city has done a fantastic job in Las Vegas of making things handicapped, and I love it. I mean, I have really freedom. It's unusual to find a situation like this. Very unusual. So what are your feelings about them putting a curb in here? I don't understand why they wouldn't. I'm, and I, I just... I just don't understand. If somebody's car broke down up there and they were looking for assistance or somebody uh, got hurt and they needed a wheelchair to, to just to, you know, they could find a neighbor with a wheel, just to get, my gosh. You know, there's, I, I can't understand why there wouldn't be a sidewalk. You know, I, I it's, it's, especially when the sidewalk goes and then stops. I mean, that, that, that's, the, that's the part that hurts. You get on a sidewalk, you expect to be able to go someplace, not just come to a dead end. If it was a road, they would have a sign that says, no egress. You're stuck. Don't go this way. In a wheelchair, you go that way, you put, expend all that energy, you get to that point, and you have to turn around and go back. And it hurts. It really hurts.